right, here we are, guys, having a chat with the caretaker about the Big Rocks bush retreat. What an awesome drive it was coming in. So he's pretty much just told us, head up over the hill there, through the creek. There's a good little spot on the right-hand side. Hey, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, even drop a comment. Let us know what you think. Awesome track. Get out and have a look. tree here and a big tree here and it's pretty tight so babe's over there she's gonna spot me but we just need to go and have a look at the uh what would you call it no nah, it won't be that bad that'll do max she'll go anywhere but always walk your line found that out yesterday when we bumped into a stump stump what stump not sure what that stump was even doing there, but anyway, that's what we need to get next. Some bash plates for the old D-Max. I walked the line. It's hard walking it. It don't look bad on the camera, uh, but there's a couple of obstacles we got. Obviously, this big tree here, so we have to go a bit wider there, and then up this small incline where there's a big boulder at the top is well. that could be an issue yeah, it doesn't look so bad but the rocks as well how did big rocks eh? big rocks with children well no eureka Friday. so literally yeah we've got a few obstacles there down that little tricky bit of a hill There's no need to scream down the UHF. I think we've got a sponsor, have we? He's talking to and sponsor us, or what? The van, van's already on, dogs are in, we're all packed up. We're going to give it a crack and uh, enjoy our Sunday. Oop, there's something I just tripped over. And I'm um, going to let's see how we go. You!
Lincoln? Lincoln likes the scratch or not? <laughs> Lincoln! Stinky Lincoln apparently. I'm not sure you're supposed to eat those leaves. <laughs> Isn't it big rocks? And this is the communal area. So this is a beautiful little bar area. Then in here we've got um, a pool table area. Got a sitting area. A bike area. Over here is the most awesome thing I've ever seen. Like a massive fire pit. I'll take it over and show you. Look at that. Big cook up area. Amazing. The area is absolutely beautiful. Filled with plants. Swings for the kids. The drinking area and lots of animals as well. Which is my favourite part. Isn't Gary's favourite part? Dad doesn't like too many animals. And I wouldn't bring the girls in here because I think the girls might want to play with the chickens, but anyway. It's a beautiful area, communal area for everybody to use. Our campsite is way up the top though, so away from this area. So that way you've got a bit of privacy as well. And you can just make a choice if you want to come down here. There's a bit of cooker bar. It's for them to be out. Definitely prime spot camping. flashing red and we googled it to see what was going on it's a connection problem with the pin so I was going to turn you around Gary's going to have a play with that and just see what's going on there it's a little bit of dust in it and whatnot. Uh, probably there's a bit of water in it for some reason I don't know why it didn't rain mm. Anyway, we'll give it a red off crack and... Um, <laughs> red? Arc? Oh, yeah, a bit of a joke there, darling. Yeah, put it all back together. I just loosened all the terminals off. And, um... Did the whole... <laughs> the magic blow. And then we'll just put it all back together and we'll see if she freaking dies, eh? These things happen when you're out in the bush. Cruising around and um, doing some bouncing and all sorts of crazy uh, tilt. So the red arc is happy again. She's blue. Not screaming red at us. Happy days. Trailer now can break. So we're just heading out of Big Rocks after a couple of days. Coming out of it was a bit hairy with the van. Um, look, it's a great camping spot, but probably not suited for... Larger vans. Definitely not for larger vans. Ours would probably be the Gamer Stud Go, which is a, just a 12 foot. Um, oh. Cattle grid. <laughs> yeah. Um, and a lot of corrugation out here as well, which isn't a real problem once you air down. It's no. pretty smooth. Running but, about 25 PSI in the tyres. Because at times they're... Mummy's heart was in her throat. A few nervous times there when Dad's come down those hills and the van was on a gnarly lean. But 
anyway, like I said, not suited for the bigger vans, um, but definitely an amazing spot if you've got a swag or a rooftop tent or, or a smaller van like ours. So. And, and the people out there are really, really nice. The caretakers are amazing. They're the most friendliest people I've ever met. Yeah. Um, and always... Um, don't, don't play Adele. Don't play Adele. Gary played Adele and... Really, really loud. <laughs> the lady was like, I'm always all on board with you and good until you turned on Adele. Sorry, sorry Adele. I said sorry, that would never happen again. So, no. we, we, we'll be back. Definitely we'll be back. Um, we might, yeah, we, it's not far from our house. It's like one hour and 15 minutes. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, overall, we probably use maybe a quarter of a tank of petrol. Um, we've just done some, we did some pretty easy tracks the other day. We didn't go too crazy with where we were full driving because there's stumps. As it's a 700 acre property, so there's plenty to explore. So once we unhooked the van, we took the DMAX and the girls around a few of the tracks, which um, we'll add to the video as well when we put it all together. But anyway, the corrugation's getting a bit much, so I'm going to sign out for now. Some better sounds no one ever heard. I wish I had a better voice to sing some better words. I wish I found some chords right underneath ya. Right underneath ya. The box. I was told.